Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Kingdom Talk and I hope you enjoyed the previous episode we had. So I'm Akandi Oluwa Damilola Oha video and today we are going to be having another amazing time in the presence of God today. I have a very special person in the house today, the person of Odina Ike Taiwo. You're welcome sir, you're welcome to the Kingdom and how are you sir? I'm very fine, thank you for having me, I'm very glad to be on the show. It's, it's good to have you, sir. Thank you very much. Welcome once again to the Kingdom Talk. So the Kingdom Talk is a Christian-based program set to enlighten people about spiritual perspective to the issues of life. So we're diving into today's business fully. So stay tuned. So today we have a very amazing topic for you today, which is priesthood. You know, as believers, when we hear the word priesthood, you have this mentality that it's for ministers, it's for pastors, it's for people that are very spiritual. So like, I feel like even as believers, come on to priesthood. What exactly is priesthood? So how does priesthood, how does it work? How, how can we come into priesthood? So I would direct the question to our guest and ask him that what is priesthood? Like, does priesthood actually determine the assignments committed into our hands? All right, thank you very much for having me once again. Thank you, sir. Um, priesthood, like the word implies, is the is the activity done by priests. That's just the meaning of priesthood. Okay. Is the activity or the office of a priest. Okay. You know, when a priest does his activity, that's what they call priesthood. It's priesthood. So, that's, yes. so um, can we say, you know, when we when we give our lives to Christ, we become believers. Like, so as a believer, am I? Like, am I just a priest? Like, am I eventually, like, how do I put it? When we, when we give our lives to Christ, do we eventually, like, do, how, do we automatically become a priest? Okay, um, the book of Revelation chapter 5, verse 10, was saying that he has made us kings and priests priest, okay. that we might reign on earth. First Peter chapter 2, verse 9, was saying that we are a um, royal priesthood, a holy yes, nation, amen. you know, that we are, we are being brought out of darkness into his marvelous light. So, as a believer, we are automatically a son in the kingdom. Okay. As a believer, we are automatically a son in the kingdom. So it's that sonship um, office that we have been called into that makes us automatically, um, automatically being able to offer sacrifice as priests, and also makes us kings. Do you understand? The Bible was saying we are a royal priesthood, yes, making meaning that we are kings and we are priests. So it is the call to salvation that brings us that that opportunity to be kings so, and priests yeah. so is anything expected of expected of us to come into priesthood like is anything expected of us as believers like do we have to just live our life like a casual believer just my morning devotion my mm-hmm. night prayers i just want to go to church like and that actually brings no, us into priesthood. No. priesthood is a is an office okay the office of a priest like um exodus chapter 28 was saying that when god told them to call the children of Aaron, Nadab and Habiu, and Aaron himself to bring them into that priesthood office so that they can, you know, offer sacrifices to God. Okay. So, as believers, we have been selected, okay. just like Aaron and his sons were selected. selected. So, but it takes deliberate actions to work in the office of priesthood. You can't just sit down and say, oh, okay, yeah. since I'm a believer, I'm a priest. It's not a faith confession, it's an activity, activity it's a work. Okay. There's a work attached to it. So if you don't work that that priesthood work, then you are not a priest. Though you have the platform, platform. you have been called to be a priest, but you have not started your activity as a priest. Okay, so what if you were saying, you were talking about some um, people doing sacrifices. So are there sacrifices to priesthood? Like are there sacrifices we have to make? And what are the sacrifices we have to make to come into priesthood? Because they're like we have like it's, it's a platform for us already. So we just have to come into these activities. So what are those activities we have to perform or sacrifices we have to perform to come into priesthood? Okay, well, in the old testament, you know, the Aaron and his sons, the offer, you know, bullocks, rams, cows for the sacrifice of the people for the people. Okay. But because we have been called into the New Testament priesthood yes. according to the order of Jesus, yes. according to the order of Melchizedek. So this priesthood is not the one that we are going to be offering sacrifices of lambs, yes. of animals. So that's that's not the New Testament priesthood. Mm-hmm. So the New Testament priesthood is you capturing the mind of God mm-hmm. and making it like you know the Re- revelation was saying that we might reign on earth okay. you know let that will be done in on earth as it is yes, done yeah. in heaven so priesthood is a, able to um, ability to capture the reality of heaven 
and mm. establishing it on earth. Mm. That's the priesthood. That's the work of the priest. That you is like a bridge mm. between man and God. Mm. So you are you know the will of God and you establish the will of God here on earth. So, so for us to come fully into priesthood, we have to know the activities of heaven yes. so we can actually bring it down on it. Is there anything we can do to actually make us do at what act? Because just as a normal believer, like even in my morning devotions can can I know the activities of heaven that I want to bring them on earth? Okay, so as priests and as kings, as sons, we have the ability to hear from our father. Yes, sir. We have the ability to hear from our father. So priesthood is when okay you know what god wants to do in a particular territory god has placed you in okay. example your family your school you know your your town your surroundings wherever you find yourself that god has made you priests so knowing what god wants to do at that moment in that place so when god speaks the bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god so when god speaks that's the beginning of priesthood so when you begin to engage God on what he has said, so you don't stop praying. One of the activities of priesthood is prayer. prayer. Mm. You can't separate priesthood from prayer. If you are not a praying man, you are not a priest. Wow, wow, wow. So if I can't pray, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't actually come into that so you can't pray, of you can't, priesthood. You can't function. You can't mm. function accurately as a priest. As a priest. But prayer is not just the only thing needed as a priest, as a priest. but it's a major without prayer because prayer is the mode that you bring the will of god yes sir you understand you establish the, the will of god in your environment by prayer by prayer yes mm -hmm. so now i was asking if okay now we can actually say that is there a difference between sonship and priesthood okay well mm, it's not the, the difference between sonship and priesthood every priest must first be a son mm -hmm, although definitely. although the priest i'm talking about is for the kingdom of god you know they are yes, or that yes, they are their yes, chief yes, priests yes, yes, sir, yes sir. so there are other priests but in the kingdom for you to become a priest yes, sir. you must be a son of god. son of god you must have been called out from darkness into the marvelous light so that's when you have the you know the privilege and right to offer or to to operate in the office of a king and a priest, priest. Yes. Okay, thank you, sir. So there's no really much difference. Just so can we say that the difference mm. between sonship and priesthood is just the, the alignment. Yeah, the, the difference way. between son and priest, priest. sonship and priest is uh, everyone can be a son, son. when you are born again. Born if you want again. to come around that at that at that son. camp, you can just sit down there and you know you will go to heaven. Really, but, so I can actually go to heaven without being it, without it, functioning in it. Yes, you can go to wow. heaven without functioning as a priest. It's just that. You'll be limited here on earth. Hmm. You can be a son and still be molested. You can be a son and still be you know, cheated and, wow. and still be oppressed. Hmm. Do you understand? But when you enter into priesthood, hmm. all those things leave because you 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 bring down the kingdom of darkness by your sacrifice of priesthood. Hmm. So actually, you can actually say that priesthood brings us like it brings us total dominion you should have on earth. Yes, that's so very priesthood, priesthood is just. Power making you rain on earth so it's not that you go to heaven and begin to operate and jesus is the great high priest and is in heaven already yeah. so we will be as priests on earth our function here on earth is to bring the kingdom of god oh. to oh. every oh. area we find ourselves that's oh. priesthood where you bring the kingdom of god so even when jesus and god was talking about we have a dominion in the book of genesis was he actually talking about priesthood yes we can say he's talking about priesthood because without priesthood you can't have dominion mm -hmm. this is not about only faith confession if you have faith confession without staying in the place of prayer yeah. and bringing the will of god you will be cheated my dear you'll be cheated so it's not just faith confession or just you know being born again being born again is the beginning yes it's it's the foundation. The, it's the call to priesthood so when you when you become born again and a child that's when the real race starts mm -hmm. that's when the real race starts so as a believer you must not afford to be prayerless because yes, once you give your life to christ you are on the radar of the devil already mm -hmm. so once yes, if you don't now be if you don't offer that priesthood sacrifice mm -hmm. then as when you'll be molested and oppressed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, earlier you said that you can actually decide to maintain the lane of worship. Like, I don't want to come into a priesthood. Yeah. And Genesis was talking about mm -hmm. you being 
Genesis was talking about you being okay. we having dominion, mm -hmm. like that's purpose, like that's what God has created man for to have dominion over the earth. So if I'm now maintaining, I just want to be a believer. It's just, it's just like saying I, I don't want to have dominion. Like I don't want to fulfill what God has, the plan God has for man on earth. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, the dominion mandate, the dominion mandate is for us to rule here on it. Yes. The dominion mandate is for us to rule here on it, and the way, the pathway to that, to achieving that is priesthood. You know, the Bible was saying he has made us in his image and likeness. Yes, sir. So when we begin to operate in priesthood, we become like him. Mm -hmm. As we appear before him in prayers, bringing down his will, just like the Mount of Transfiguration, when, you know, Elijah and Moses came to minister unto Jesus, yes, but he was praying. You know, at the mountain, at the Garden of Gethsemane, he, he, he went into priesthood and he prayed that God, let thy will be done. Yes. Although I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm finding it hard to carry this cross, yes. but let your, that's priesthood. When you say, let the will of God be done in that season, what God wants to do, though you, like, that you are the channel, mm -hmm. you are the one that brings God to man. I don't that makes the alignment between God and man. What God wants to do in, on the head, you are the channel to God passes through. So that's a correct priesthood. Okay. Thank you, sir. So now we can say that it's necessary for every believer to come into priesthood. Yes, it is. It is for our own good. Okay. It is for our own good because if you don't, if you're a realist Christian, then like I said earlier, you you. A lot of things can happen to you. Yes. If you are prayerless, even Jesus said, Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. Do you understand? So he lost prayer, he said, Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. So when you guard yourself, when you stay with God in a secret place, you know, Peter's, Peter, um, Psalm 19 was saying that God is in the secret place of the Most High, abided under the shadow of the Almighty. So to so keep yourself safe. In this world, you have to come into priesthood. You have to be a praying man. Although priesthood is not just about prayer. Yeah, yes. Thank you very much for that. So now, um, you know, um, even as growing children, when we are growing, you know, there are some certain age we get to that our parents really do not feel secure about sending us on certain elements. Like they feel like we won't deliver as expected but there are certain age we get to and they feel like i should be able to do send you because we they feel we'll be able to deliver as expected even it happens to us as adults like there are certain friends we have families we have friends the certain friends we have we know that ah i can actually hand over this thing to this person this person will do it well but these certain people i can't do, like even at in this instance age is not a like it's not a criteria like you have certain friends that you feel like ah when I give this person this thing, this person will deliver well. But ah, no, I can't give this person this thing. Like there are certain assignments you can count, you can actually commit it to hands of certain people. Yeah. So can we actually bring that to 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 the kingdom when we talk about sonship and priesthood? Like so, our priesthood will actually determine those assignments placed in our hands by God. Because you know when God God will not commit, I feel like God will not commit um um like some assignment into our hands when we have not come into priesthood. Yes. So is. Okay, well, the Bible also said it that is faithful in little. Yeah. It's faithful mm -hmm. in much. If God has given you his, your family to take charge of, mm -hmm. but you have failed to take charge of that mm -hmm. territory, the God can hand over the nations to you. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So, if you have not come into accurate priesthood by taking your family for God, mm -hmm. maybe your family is molested by the devil or wanting or the other, or there's poverty from like ancestral poverty. Hmm. And you notice that trend. God has called you into that priestly office to break that trend. But if you have not successfully done that, the Lord can give you the nations to go and conquer. Hmm. Do you understand? So you have to first be faithful in little. Yeah. If you can take that small mountain, wow. then the Lord will give you. That's the reward for faithful mm -hmm. servant. The Lord will give you more. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's even what brings us comfort about certain people because you've committed little to their hands yes. and you've seen the way they, the way they dealt with it yes. and you're able to give them more. Yes, yes. So can we like we are we are faced like we have accepted that we are faced, but we have to actually come into it by prayers and other things like you have mentioned. So can we like we have come fully into prison? Is there a possible like can is, is there is there is there, is there something like mm -hmm. dropping back when we can actually maybe Back. Okay, well, just like you making sacrifice. Yes, sir. Leviticus 6, verse 12, was saying, and the priest shall add wood upon the altar every morning. 
you know, by making sacrifices. So once you begin to stop adding wood, mm. then you have stopped your duty, your duty as a priest. And you know, even Nadab and Abihu, they made sacrifice, but they offered strange fire unto God, which took their life. So as priests, you 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 must be careful, you know, because we are dealing with God. Mm -hmm. We are dealing with God. We must we must come before Him. One of the criteria for priesthood is holiness. Yes, sir. You understand one of the criteria for you know the Bible says you shall ascend into the hill of the Lord with has a clean heart and a pure hand that has not lifted up his soul to vanity nor sworn deceitfully. So those are the ones that can come up to God to offer sacrifice. If you come with an impure heart or impure state, you are offering a strange sacrifice and which might be consequential. Do you understand? That's what took the life of Nadab and Abu. They offered fire, but it was strange before God. So even as priests, even if we start our priestly duties, you that start can stop. Mm -hmm. It's just that the territory God has given you will not be taken. Wow. So God That's can God can, you know, God can sideline you and look for you know, the that was saying I, I sought for a man that will stand in gap. So once you are filled in that alignment of offering sacrifice to God, the Lord will find another person in your place. Mm -hmm. Because God cannot do anything on earth without the approval of a man. man. God needs a man on earth so that he can, you know, bring the will of God to earth. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Thank you very much. Sir. So priesthood is, is actually necessary for every believer for us to actually come fully into what, what God, God has, has for us. So sir, what's your advice to believers out there watching us? All right, my advice is uh, that, you know, there's a saying that it's not easy to pray, but the Holy Spirit helps us to pray. The Holy Spirit helps us to pray. It's, we, we, must, we must not be comfortable with the kingdom of God and with the kingdom of darkness striving. Mm -hmm. We must not be comfortable. Once you are comfortable with darkness around you, then check your priesthood. Mm -hmm. Check your priesthood. You must, you must strive Hard for the kingdom of God to be established everywhere around you. Around you. you know, just like Abraham, anywhere he gets to, you raise an altar. Mm -hmm. Anywhere he gets to, you raise an altar. Anywhere he gets to, you raise an altar. Mm -hmm. Even Isaac, Jacob, you see that trend. So, as priests, we must deliberately raise altars in every corner, every environment we find ourselves, so that the kingdom of God can be established mm -hmm. on the earth. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the kingdom. That's the Bible says. For this reason was the Son of God made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. Mm -hmm. You understand? So we have been given that that office. Jesus said, I send you out, you know, greater works um, than, than I did shall you do. So he has given us that mandate to go out and flush out the devil and, you know, take out the kingdom of darkness. So when the, when there are darkness around you, you know, the Bible says, and the light shineth in darkness, yes, and darkness comprehended, you know, you must raise a fire that will take away every darkness around. Mm. You understand? You must take, you must raise a fire. So, in your family, in your school, anywhere you find yourself, mm. if you don't come into accurate priesthood, then one, you are not fulfilling the dominion mandate, and two, you are not making God happy. Mm. You understand? You are not yes, making, sir. you are not making God happy because we are brought into sonship, not just for coming to heaven. Yes. It's not just to come to heaven and you know walk on the street of gold. Yes. Sir. That's not just why we are born again. Mm -hmm. There's an assignment here on earth. This is a general assignment mm -hmm. for everyone Every to be kings and, and priests priest. here on earth. So my advice for everyone is to come into accurate priesthood by prayer and you know much prayers is needed. And also our lives should be the sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Our life we should make our life the sacrifice for God, you know, make our temple holy. Because that's our living sacrifice unto God. So when we can come into all these accurate measures, then priesthood will be easy. Priesthood will be easy. So for people out there that are finding it difficult to come into priesthood, what's your like what what advice do you have to give to them? Like what's the first step you should take coming into priesthood? Alright, um my advice for men, such men is one, know that this priesthood is for everyone because okay. there are some mindset that okay maybe just for pastors, pastors. or prophets mm -hmm. or ministers of god mm -hmm. typhoid ministry no it's for every believer once you understand that then you ask god to help you 
to take charge of your marriage. You must try as much as possible to spend time with God. Amen. So when you spend time with God, it tells you the territory to take. Because it sends us different into different corners. So it will tell you the territory to take. And when it tells you the territory to take, you should be rest assured that you have his backing. Okay. Yeah. And no man can touch you because you bear the mark of Christ. Christ. You understand? So you need the help of God to come into our prayer priesthood. He's the one that will pick him up to pray. Yeah. It's not easy. It's not easy to pray. Around near So with flesh, you can do nothing, but it's the spirit that pigments. So once the Holy Spirit is involved, it's easy to do our prayer priesthood. Once we are in the Holy Spirit, we carry. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's been a wonderful time. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you very much. So um, I'm very sure you have been blessed in one or two ways. You can actually drop your quest your questions even in the comment sections. So I hope you have been blessed by today's um topic priesthood so, like i have said everyone can come into priesthood it takes our sacrifices laying down our lives as sacrifices to god like bringing ourselves to the alignment of what god is doing and he actually also mentioned that there is nothing god can do on earth without man so you are important i am important like we are all important to god's to god's um, establishment of the kingdom of heaven on earth and that will be all for today. Then I hope you have been blessed. So don't forget to follow us on Instagram and on, on Facebook at Ashadra TV and Seraph Radio. So we'll, we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us today.